Rance. Rance has taken the mark. If he kicks this, the Tigers will get around him. One of the great modern day players. And he comes. Kick is on the way. It's bending back. Oh, it's beautiful. Correct. How about that? Uh, don't you love that sentence from the great D committee? Yes. One of the great modern day players. Yeah, well. We'll send you okay, an audio I'll, of that. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. We'll, we'll send you an email of that audio. I'll tell you what's even rarer is the fact that I'm having a shot for goal. Right, how in, did that In happen? the commentary. Uh, I think we were just spanking Frio and we thought, hey, let's flip the magnets a bit and have, nice. have a bit of a go. How many goals did you kick? Have, oh, sorry. Have you kicked in your career? <laughs> did, did you kick? Yeah. <laughs> well, I kicked one that day and then yes. I, kicked, I kicked three on Chris Tarrant, actually. He was in All-Australian oh, form that year. Yeah. Wow. Um, when I was uh, yeah, still at the wilderness of as to what type of player I was going to be. I think I've kicked seven in my career. I'm looking it up now as we speak. Uh, yes. 200 games exactly. So... Not a great 200th game to remember, Rancy. Nah, the, the mm. ACL just didn't want to give me any more. No. So he just uh, decided to go bang and, and really celebrate the 200th in style, <laughs> the, the ACL. And 250th for Jack as well. How yeah. is that going, your knee? It's good. I uh, ran yesterday. I've been running for about a week now and got some good strength in it and getting some good range back. So, uh, yeah, just got to manage that swelling and then manage uh, Dimmer's... My, uh, emotions and, mm -hmm. and the, the medical staff's emotions towards it. That was my next question. Are we any chance of seeing you playing footy this year? I love that when this question comes up because the club just like cringes whenever yeah. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. I'm going to play. Because yeah. um, I believe in positive psychology and, yep. and, you know, thinking it into existence. So I really want to play come the end of the year, but obviously I'm not going to do it if I'm uh, at any danger of, of damaging it again. But yeah, I feel I feel confident if Alyssa Camplin can come back after 16 weeks yes. and win bronze and Tyson Goldsack can come back after 22, why can't I? And Darn all Morris. of the medical people are happy. That's the main thing. Yeah, well, I'll see Julian Feller, the the good doctor, on Wednesday, and, and see what he reckons. He's always pretty pumped with his with his work. So, um, yeah, he's done another another really good job uh, with mine, which hasn't needed any further surgery. So, yeah, he seems pretty happy. Uh, nine goals you you have kicked, by the way. Hey, you were talking thanks, about your dad. Thanks for that one up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, talking about your dad. So you grew up. You're always going to be a footballer. No, no, no. I was. I didn't really like football growing up. I wasn't a footy head. You weren't. Um, I did. No. I, I reckon I could have named. Two Richmond players. If I was lucky, I just yeah. Guildford yeah. Grammar boy. Yeah, only for my last two years. I went to like a, a music and art school in for my first yeah. sort of kindergarten to year ten. Just it was sort of, you know, your non-denominational performing arts sort of, you know, that kind of thing. Drama and. But then I just I just was sick of doing every single event for inter school swimming and athletics and footy and soccer and every sort of game they had. And I said I want to go to a sport that uh, a school that actually has a good sports program. So. Yeah. Went to Guildford Grammar and we, we just got pipped by Trinity in the Alco in my final year. So. Well, Guildford, uh, my time, Bill, yes. uh, was much more a cricket school. Tom Moody, Brendan Julian, they had lots of really good cricketers going yeah. through. They're not mm. great, known for great football, but no, they weren't. pumped good footballers out recently. The defender from GWS? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, what's uh, his name? Number um, 15, I should know. A really Taylor. Good, uh, really good young defender. Taylor Griffin, Griffin Log Grammar. from yep. Sydney. Oh, yeah. um, so ah. I think they gave out a few decent scholarships. And then, there. so what was it? you? Richmond got you, or uh, yes, yeah. And you, but you took a while, didn't you? <laughs> yes, first, Rich, Richmond yeah, obviously so did. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Good Richmond. question. Yeah. But you took. Um, <laughs> they got him off guard. He's looking at me going. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, yeah, your yeah. Name, so your name's Alex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good, but good. Uh, it took you a while to get going, didn't it? I yeah. remember your first year or two and mm. you're going, oh, hello, hello. But then, then it just clicked. Yeah, mm. well, you would have probably been watching at Coburg City Oval to mm. watch my first couple of <laughs> first two years. Uh, yeah, just I think I came in thinking I was just going to be a different player. Um, I was uh, roving to Nick Natanui, who it, you could just blitz through every stoppage. He was yep. dominating everyone and thought I was going to be like, Kuda Fides, cross Judd, cross Andrew Emberley and play through <laughs> the that, midfield. Yeah. And uh, it just wasn't really me. You know, I come into against all these other amazing bigger bodied players that are a lot smarter and as quick or as fit. And yeah, it just didn't work out until I found my niche. Yeah, you did. And then went back. And uh, is cool. it, now I said five in a row, all Australians. Is that right? Yeah. So, and there has not been a better defender in the comp in that time. What, what, what do you put that down to? What, what was the thing that clicked? Uh, I think. With, with anyone's career, you just got to find one thing that you feel you can do better than anyone. And so once you've got that, then you just whack that in the kit bag and then just keep building things. And I just, I was really, became really confident and comfortable with my game that I didn't need to do too much more, that I, I'd built a pretty decent CV up until that point, which is sort of like 2013 and 14. Mm. Um, and then I thought, yeah, I can, 
I can support others and, and we got a really good structure and system around us and other good players like Dave Asprey and Dylan Grimes and Nick Voss and, and like the sacrificial roles that they played to allow me to do what I did, um, which is sort of read the play and, and tease off my bloke. So, yeah, it's a combination of all those things. How do you go watching now? Um, the first the first probably month and a half I was fine. Yeah. I, I loved it. Um, and now I'm... Hmm. Very envious of, yeah. of, of them in their, in their position. And it's also hard when we've got 13 in rehab and, and you mm. see these young boys being put under more pressure than what they really should be because they don't really have as many senior players out there as what we would like. But it's going to be so good. You look at guys like Noah Bolter and Sydney Stack and yeah. Marbio Chol on the weekend. Chol, and, yeah. uh, Connor Menadieu, he's getting some more games into him. Paddy Nash, his first couple of games, good father-son there. It, it's really exciting for the club that we can be in games like that. Must have hurt watching the weekend, especially when you've got big jerker Jenkins and Tex getting hold of you, and yeah. you know that you would have locked one of them away. <laughs> that must that must be hard to watch. It is, because I feel defence is is what I I see, and I can see systems unfolding. And so when you see him getting easy goals out the back mm. and and it being sliced up every now and then, I feel like that's something that I can really contribute to and. All right. Yeah. Uh, the book's called Rabbit Top. We're going to get to that next because Bill's going to give us. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you, you almost went there, didn't you? Yeah. And I also want to ask you about Sydney Stack and uh, Eddie Betts. It's the rush hour, Triple M. Richmond superstar Alex Rance is in the studio, and Bill, he's got a brand new book out. Yeah, uh, the Rabbit Top. We're going to get to that in just a sec. Before we do, I want to ask you about Eddie Betts' freakish goal on the weekend, yes. and then he and Sydney Stack. What did you think of that? How good was that? Oh, I loved it. How good Great. was that for our game? I think that. In general, I think we should just allow people to do whatever they want to do. If they want to be stoic and they want to, you know, be a boring lockdown defender, let them be that and celebrate them for that. If they want to jump around and, and do the some dance that Stacky does and wants to high five, I think that's great for the game too. And especially when uh, you know Eddie's had you know the criticism that he's had over the past probably two years, I think that's a great moment to celebrate both of them for the brilliance that they both bring. Well, especially the Indigenous, you know, the brothers. We all love them, and they're the greatest blokes alive, and they've got this instinctive way of being with each other, and we never want that to change. Mm. The Cracker Brothers? Oh, oh they yeah, just good. They used to the always ever. find each other, they didn't did. they? The Narkles, oh, they just, when they used to play with my old man. Superb. <laughs> so, superb. Uh, yeah, I think that there's so much to be celebrated about um, what... The Aboriginal boys bring to our game the the flair, the speed, the the high marking and uh, supreme talent. And also, Alex, and this is how I saw the Sydney Stack thing. There there are also times in sport when you've just got to look at the bloke and go, too good. Yeah. It's just too good. And that's Eddie what... warned him too. He, he said, oh, "I'm going to kick one." Yeah. Eddie warned him. So uh, I'm with you. Have you been sitting in the outer mm. watching? Yes. How do you find that? Uh, it's. It's, it tests my patience. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not the greatest watcher of football because I, I feel like I'm a expert coach and you know think that I can impact from the stands, which everyone I think does at yeah. the footy. But yeah, you can't. What so. about the booing in that? Oh, actually, the mm. Geelong Richmond it was actually and the oh boo. with Gaza. Yeah, with Gaza. Yeah, that was a bit rough. No I'm, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the booing, uh, but. Oh, with the whole security coming in and the mm. insults and all that kind of stuff, I think we might be starting to get a little bit too um, overprotective. But, uh, yeah, booing's not great. And even after the, that Anzac Day game when Pendles was, was yeah, going for yeah. his speech, I thought that that was a little bit off. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah, hey, celebration's what we want to do. Rabbit Top is the name of the book. Now, give us a... Before a reading, Bill, I'd yeah, like you to give reading. us a synopsis. Bill or me? No, Bill. This will be great. No, I'm not this will be real good. You're not... I'll, I'll tell you what it's about, Jim, all right? So, Did you hear that? <laughs> it's about I'm not going to give you a synopsis. I'll, I'll tell, tell you what, what it's about. about. Well, what? I knew what synopsis meant, but Did for you? the people out there. Right. If you guys could, I just want to give you guys a, a, a verbal image of what this book looks like. <laughs> there, it's, it's like someone's studying it for a uni class. There's uh, post-it notes no, hanging out of it with annotations. I'm well, really impressed. Well, We've I got put a video of Bill reading it on our uh, well, Instagram I, I'm story. I'm not a big reader, so no. I read Jack Rabbit's about. He's the best hopper on Rabbit Island, Jim. Right. The illustrations are magnificent to start with. Uh, who did that? Shane McGowan. Well done, Shane. That was good. So I like that yes, for starters. Good. Easy to read, Jim. And then there's um, uh, he's also uh, Jack Rabbit, the best chomper. On Rabbit Island, a bit like Tony Jones. Tony Jones. (laughs) (laughs) Chompers. But there's messages in this book, Jim. Right. About doing your best, about getting out of the bubble, moving on to another island, wasn't there? 
Challenging yourself. Challenging yourself, exactly right. Because he's on this island. He's the best chomper, Jim. He's the best hopper. Thank you. He's nearly the best zigzagger. Yep. But he wants to just uh, make himself better and a new challenge. So he has to go over to this other island. That's right, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Big island. A reading, Bill? uh, You want a reading? Yes. But Jack Rabbit wanted a new challenge. So sometimes he sat on the very edge of Rabbit Island and thought. And thought. One day, while Jack Rabbit was sitting and thinking, with his feet dangling in the water, a bottle floated in to the shore, and inside the bottle was a note. So it was a note from his cousin Jim to go oh, to this island. You, <laughs> but you know, but here's, here's one for you. So do you see what the image is on the bottom of the letter? A purple roo. Because who's, who's Jack Rabbit's cousin? Cousin Roo. Cousin Roo. Nick Rewalt. Ah, oh, Nick. Ah, oh. Jack so Rabbit. Jack, Jack Rewalt. Rewalt. Ah. Ah. You know what? Oh, so it just occurred to you that it, the Jack is actually Jack Revolt. No, it did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading it as Jack Rabbit. Obviously, all that studying did not pay oh. off. Oh, <laughs> sorry. But you know what happens? He didn't meet Cousin Rue. He gets to the island. He doesn't meet him. Or no, is there another book? Not yet. Oh. Mm. No, so, and it's cousin, also, cousin Rue was just the inspiration. It's doing a, about doing your best, Jim. That's all. If your best isn't good enough, that's fair enough. Well, and having fun. Your, Yes. Hey, Rancy, the and previous book has it did incredible business. It did really well. Yeah, it did really well. I uh, I didn't think that it was going to get s- uh, sold as many as it did, but it, yeah, sold over 25,000 copies. And Beautiful. Yeah, it did, did nicely. It I'm did, glad the Tiger supporters loved it. Did you think when you sat down and uh, penned these amazing books that you'd hear a reading as beautiful as that? <laughs> I tell you that I, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this this reading is one of a kind. And, he uh, saved a whale, Jim. A whale was caught in the whale. fishing net mm-hmm. for yeah. a while, yeah. and he, he uh, thought he was chomping carrots, but he chomped the rope to get rid of the uh, netting. Hey Jim, what is uh, the Jim? Hey Bill, what does that uh, that uh, whale look like? What type of car does it look like? It looks like a jeep. No. No. <laughs> well, there you. What does it look like? Come on. A Volkswagen. Yes, a Volkswagen. What? Combi. Oh, that was Jack's first car. Oh, right. So oh, there's see. there's a lot of hidden symbolisms oh, in in, in this well, movie. I didn't so. know this, right? Well, and but you know it I could have been a jeep, but I thought know, it could have been wasn't. your sponsors. Would no, have been no, no. <laughs> hey, I bet we, I bet he wishes he still owned it. They're the, worth a plenty of yeah. combi now. He drove it over on the on the Spirit and had it here for a little while, oh. and then he thought it was a little <laughs> bit inconvenient with the parallel parking situation. People buy them and do them up yeah. and yeah. sell them for a do fortune. They They're yeah. amazing Jack things. Rabbit, yes, he met a tiger, Jim, of course. So he meet in the new yeah, island, he meets right a right tiger. And, and then that's it. It just stops. Well, I was well, waiting leaves, for more. Leaves it open for another edition. Because ah, so it's, it's actually a prequel. It's very Star wars I'm pretty prequel. Much, I'm pretty much that Spielberg guy. So what's a prequel? <laughs> oh, no. You've gone two and you come back to one. Yeah. 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 Pre, 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 meaning before. Yeah. What's well, cool? Francie, <laughs> <laughs> have you just been into the ABC? Yes. I have. Did you get this sort of cerebral questioning <laughs> uh, while you were in there? This is next level. <laughs> that is. Yeah. Did you think about going overseas, uh, Rancy, while you're a knee? Because I just see on the um, socials here that uh, Joe Danaher is being given permission by Essendon to travel overseas. Did you mm. think of doing that, going Somewhere? I was offered that opportunity, Ooh. yeah, but because I, I didn't put a, a line through myself for the year, I thought I, I just want to stick around, get my knee as right as I can to give myself the best crack to play finals. Tell you what, Jimmy, still working out. Still in the gym, the boy, The I rig looks pretty... It does uh, still look I'm feeling right. okay. I'll, I'll tell you what I have got into this, this uh, week, boys, which what? you might want to have a look at, yes. is uh, salads and soups. Oh, soup, yeah. Yeah, but the thing with soups is you pee and you're hungry again. Yeah, that's is true. That it? Yeah. I see you're a lot still of water. hairy. You've got a hairy chest, so you're I, not, I you don't it, wax down. Oh, you do clip it. That's clip right. It a little yeah. bit, so. A bit hairy. There's a couple yeah. of hairs just sticking out, Jim. Mm. That's a proper man's abs you just saw, Bill. Mm. Oh! <laughs> yeah. There's a six pack in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. Oh, the whole bottle oh. shop's there, too. <laughs> 20 oh, years no. after you finish, uh, Alex, how are you going to look? Uh, yeah, I, ho- well, I hope like that. <laughs> I, I hope like that because that means I've really enjoyed myself. <laughs> hey, Rancy, oh. where do people get hold of the Rabbit Top? Any good bookstore. You can jump online, go to alanandunwin.com or you can go to Dimmix or Booktopia or whoever you want to go. It's any, any good bookstore. Uh, perfect. Is this well, ours, by the way? It's all yeah. yours. We'll get you to sign it, Rancy, and we'll give it to a Richmond supporter, all right? Perfect. Beautiful. Hey, great to see you, mate. Good luck with the knee. Come back for uh, hopefully uh, some footy before the end of the year, but also with the Tigers. Thanks, guys. Always fun. Good on you, mate.